There are some of you that may not know this in that there are specific compasses designed either to be used in the North Hemisphere or in the South Hemisphere. So if you have a compass that's designed to be utilized in the Northern Hemisphere, which is here in the United States, and you go to a country such as Brazil, located in the Southern Hemisphere, it will have difficulty functioning in that particular area. Now, the reason for this is because of the different magnetic poles around the Earth. And it varies in the North and in the South Hemisphere. So when a manufacturer designs a compass, they have to weight and balance that needle specifically for that particular hemisphere. So how do you overcome this? And I recommend two types of compasses. The first compass that I recommend is getting a global needle compass. Now a global needle compass will allow you to utilize it anywhere around the world because of the way that the needle and how it's affixed to the hinge in the compass is designed. This is a Sunto MC2G compass, one of the compasses I like using. And this is a base plate compass. And you can purchase this and utilize it again, anywhere in the world. The second type of compass that I recommend is gonna be the Lenzetta compass. This compass is a Kamenga military grade compass. It's what the military uses. Now this compass is not a global needle compass, but what allows it to be utilized in the, either the North or the South hemisphere is this deep well here. So when you're navigating, that deep well allows the needle to float freely and it won't get stuck either on the top or on the bottom of the compass. So the next time you decide to purchase a compass, my recommendation would be to get either a global needle compass, such as the Sunto, or a Lenzetic compass, such as this Kamenga.